nationally and internationally we're in a time of war and the world uh, and I know we serve a God of love but also in the Old Testament there is a God who sometimes exercised vengeance or encouraged people to exercise vengeance on his under his name and I just wanted to see how how you think about that the, the Old Testament is sometimes helpful in a time of war because we can feel like someone's on our side and smiting our enemies, and yet our God is a God of love. And do we think of the Old Testament as just helpful at some times, or has God changed his mind about vengeance? Well, I mean, even in the Old Testament, it's clear that God can change their mind, right? Uh, that's, that happens. Um, but I read, I read all scripture through the lens of the living word Jesus, right? The Logos. And so uh, that doesn't mean that. Uh, that I read Jesus back necessarily into all uh, of the Old Testament, but what I do do is I prioritize and value what I've seen expressed in Jesus in the Gospels and the New Testament uh, with a different way, like a different kind of constructive quality for my life. So, for instance, Jesus gets uh, arrested in Gethsemane, uh, and um, Peter goes to take the sword and chops off. Malchus is here, right? Um, Jesus says, put away the sword. I feel like that, to me, is the divine answer to like whether or not we should prioritize war as, as a way of interacting with others. Um, there are times in which war can feel inevitable, and um, you know, so I, I'm not saying that there's no such thing that we should prepare and, and, and kind of know what that is, but um, my ultimate desire is to, to, to be more like the Christ that I'm seeking to follow. And that comes to those quick questions. So, um, yeah, I mean, and there's all sorts of ways in which Jesus takes the tradition in which he was raised and kind of turns it to say, have you thought about this side of it? Because you can find things in scripture to justify lots of different traditions on things if you narrow your canon to one aspect or another, right? Um, and so I, I, I'm in the mindset that viewing it through the lens of Jesus, though, uh, in terms of how will I live my life, uh, I think that that's, uh, that's my, my measure. Yeah.